the plot is incredibly, incredibly complicated of Trovatore. Um, the music is also incredibly rich and deep. When did you first come to the school? Quite late, five years ago, uh, because uh, I couldn't uh, figure it out uh, how it worked, all the plot of Trovatore. Because, you know, there is the mother, there is the daughter, there is the father, count, there is the son, count. You already are completely messed up uh, by the end of the first act. <laughs> And the second, you see everything uh, continuing and developing, and you still uh, are there, but who killed who? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what makes sense, uh, and what is a miracle of this uh, opera, Il Trovatore, is the fact when you attend the performance or you conduct, everything makes absolute sense. Of course, I can tell uh, precisely the story, but uh, it's not the point of Trovatore. So what the, is the, point? the point is the, uh, the quality of the music. Of course, uh, some of the critics has been mentioned, they were a little bit uh, uh, against the too melodramatic element of Trovatore. You think, oh, this is so exciting. It cannot get even more excitement. E Verdi was able to add more excitement, more fire. And you think, oh, this fire is almost unbearable. He has still something to offer. Uh, to, so the temperature he gets uh, artistically, emotionally, is so high. And that's why he is engaging, he's just keeping you on the edge of your seat. Also because all the opera is about uh, fire, mm -hmm. blood, and the darkness. Without these three elements, or one of these three elements, you don't have Trovatore. And some critics say this is almost looking back to a kind of bel canto of before. But how does Verdi do that in the orchestration and in the vocal writing? How does he do it that mm. he makes you feel like there is something else driving the show, that there is this kind of, you know, mysterious force working and that darkness and that melodrama? I think it's the same story when you go in a rock concert in the big stadium. And most of the critics, they say, oh, but the music is so simple. Yeah, but you go here, you go there, and there is such a big amount of energy. Yeah. And you cannot resist. With Verdi, it's the same. Some critics, they say, oh, yum, pa, pa, but with that element from Libya, Moli, Unzaza, or yum, pam, pam, stride, la, va, ha, 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 So there is all, always this element. But also, we sh don't have to forget that sometimes our beat, heartbeat, is not tum, it's tum, tum, tum. One, two, three, one, two, three. So what for you is the greatest challenge? Oh, is uh, like any opera to be able to tell the story through the music. It seems the easiest thing, is the most complicated. Just to be able to tell the story using uh, the words by Camarano, the music by Verdi, the acting of the singers, the voice of the singers, the cooperation with the director, and just try to tell the story in the most uh, believable way. What you described about it having this relentlessness to it, how do you pace that throughout the whole opera? Oh, that is because it. it starts and it's like the inevitability of everything coming horribly, crashing down. The oh. most difficult thing is try not to be ashamed. How do you mean? I mean, you, you don't have to be afraid to be emotionally naked uh -huh. when you conduct. You have to trust Verdi. If Verdi put something unbearable, horrible, he wrote it, go for it. Anyway, it's his responsibility. 